realize that by now we've all played our fair share of survival games. Except, in the vast majority of those cases, there's usually some kind of supernatural outside force that causes the entire situation. One that you have to put right. Neo Survivor has none of that. Maybe. All you know when you wake up from your cryogenic sleep is that there's something growling in the next room, and you're probably going to be attacked. Right from the jump, you've got to survive just like the name says. And after a few deaths by exposure, at least one by some marauding jerk with a wrench and a bad attitude, and a couple hours of getting horribly lost, you'll understand just how tall an order that is to fill. But survival ain't easy, as anyone who's ever been shipwrecked on a desert island and started talking to a volleyball can tell you. You need shelter. You need clothing that's more effective than just a hospital gown. You need rations and water and supplies, and most importantly, weapons to protect you from some of the less scrupulous survivors. Neo Scavenger recreates all of this while giving you gauges and readouts to describe the majority of your parameters. From hunger and thirst, to energy and pain level, to blood supply and immune system efficacy. While you're not really dealing with that many numerical stats to determine these attributes, most of them can be customized by tweaking your character before the game even starts, picking traits like medic or lockpicking. And in true RPG fashion, you can even pick up some additional traits if you take a character flaw or two. For all the meticulous detail, the game's still fairly approachable. They're likely to die a few times while you get used to the hierarchy of needs. In this case, you'll have to scavenge a number of locations you find walking around in hopes of finding rations and materials. You can craft what you find into more complex items, or go the Throg Smash route and simply bludgeon opponents with whatever happens to be on hand. Most interactions, be they puzzles or combat situations, are handled through a system of pictograms showing you all of your multitudinous options for that situation. Combat isn't just attack, item, magic, run like in most RPGs, oh no. You've got desperate flee, flee, flee stealthily, take cover, advance in cover, retreat in cover, walk or run, toward or away, charge, tackle, kick a downed opponent, not to mention the massive objects that you can utilize as weapons. While the presentation might be rather stripped down, the menus are fairly simple and the sound is quiet to non-existent, what you are getting is a disturbingly thorough end-of-the-world simulation, and one that'll have you stepping back from yourself and wondering who this person is who just beat an unconscious vagrant to death for his pants. All's fair in love and war, I guess. Most importantly, though, you'll learn to survive in a harsh, lawless world where you never know who's watching you, who's an asset, and who's just going to run off with your packet of off-brand Twinkies while your back is turned. There's a lot to explore and experience in Neo Scavenger. Good luck making it through the first night, though. Seriously, man, at least put some pants on. <laughs>